G'day, g'day, DeFi DGENs. We're back, we're back on the ROI DAP scene and we're back looking at DGEN plays. Now this is an old favorite from a long time ago, baked beans. Now if you remember the original baked beans, maybe you were in it, maybe you weren't. Personally, I missed the original baked beans and it lasted for quite some time and made a lot of people a lot of money because it lasted so long. I did jump into some other versions of baked beans, like version two, version three, whatnot. They did not do so well. So I kind of got stung on the FOMO of baked beans, the original version, because I didn't get on the original version. So my bad, but now we are back with baked beans reloaded. You know what the good news is? This is the original developer team from the original version of baked beans. They're relaunching baked beans and it's called baked beans reloaded, of course. Established 2021, the original baked beans came in and uh, kicked some goals in the ROI DAP scene, was probably only second to drip in regards to earnings. So that is very, very impressive indeed. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with baked beans. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Let's just jump onto the FAQs. We'll have a look at how baked beans works and how you can get involved. Now at the top here, we have the team, Kratos, MJ, Blaise, Captain Bourbon, April 21st, 2024, Baked Beans Reloaded was relaunched. And as you know, these ROI dApps, the earlier you get in, the better it is, the more profitable you're going to be. Of course, I'm a couple of days late, but considering how long the original Baked Beans lasted, this is probably not a bad little gamble to play on. First, let's just do that disclaimer and get that out of the way. Investment disclosure disclaimer for Baked Beans Reloaded. Please note that any investment in Baked Beans Reloaded carries inherent risks before making any investment decisions. Please carefully consider the following points. Risk of loss. Investing in Baked Beans Reloaded involves the risk of losing some or all of your investment. Regulatory risks. Cryptocurrency investments may be subject to regulatory scrutiny and changes in laws and regulations. Project risk. Baked Beans Reloaded is a new and emerging project and, su and as such, it may face various risks, including technical logical, operational and execution risks, there is no guarantee of the project's success or continued operation. No financial advice, of course, anything on my channel is not considered financial advice and always only invest in what you can afford to lose. Now, the point being, this is very, very high risk. This is very, very degen play. I didn't get into the original baked beans because I thought that it was a little bit too degen, but how wrong was I in terms of uh, missing out on profits. Considering this is the original team again, I'm going to have a little gamble on Baked Beans Reloaded because I think there's potential for some earnings here. Now, how do I buy? Get BNB on the BNB chain, Binance Smart Chain on your decentralized wallet and connect it with the DAP. Enter the BNB you want to invest in the white box and click Bake. Make sure you keep some BNB in your wallet for gas fees. So what is the minimum buy? There is no minimum buy, which is fantastic. What is the maximum buy? The current maximum buy is 15% of the TVL at the current time. What are beans? Beans are miners bought with the BNB. They generate your reward. So this is the old classic crypto miner. Now there have been plenty of knockoffs for the miners in the past, but the original baked beans was definitely the number one miner. Can I sell my beans and get my BNB back? No, you cannot sell your beans. BNB is locked in the TVL and BNB is earned through reward. How is the value of my beans determined? The value of beans fluctuates based on TVL and inflationary rates. Beans do not have a set price. What happens when I press the rebake button? Rebaking compounds your rewards, increasing your beans and rewards over time. There is a 60 minute cooldown for rebaking. So you can compound your beans every 60 minutes if you like. Personally, I do it every 24 hours, but you know what I say in these minor or ROI dApps, always get your ROI before you start reinvesting in any of these dApps. What happens when I press eat beans button? The BNB and your rewards is dispersed into your personal wallet, minus the fees. Ensure that your rewards accumulate and will, and will outweigh the project fees and gas fees needed for the transaction. What will my daily percentage be? The daily percentage is variable up to 8% based on factors like users eating habits on the platform, contract balance, market bean inflation, and more. So potentially 8% per day. Well, if this thing really takes off, then 8% per day is gonna be huge returns. Do beans amount decrease when you eat? No, eating does not decrease your user's bean count. Only new deposits or rebakes increase bean holding. What is the team's suggested strategy? Rebake six times a week and eat once a week to maintain balance and maximize rewards. So if we all follow this strategy, 
then the longevity of, of baked beans reloaded is going to be guaranteed for quite some time. So if you rebake every day for six days a week and then eat once a week or take profits once a week, then you're going to maintain the platform for a long time to come. Then you'll start to earn your ROI over time while building your balance at the same time. What happens if I do not actively rebake or eat? Keeping your beans idle will lead to inflation of bean prices, reducing your rewards over time. Active rebaking or eating is crucial to maintain value and earnings. So it's important to maintain activity on your account if you do get involved in baked beans reloaded does baked beans reloaded have any external revenue yes it does there will be a merchandise store for all to access and promote excess funds from marketing wallet will be used to deposit into the tvl this will provide extra sustainability although not being 100 percent every little bit does help is it too late to invest the contract is written to provide an optimal entry for all users new or old this is the reason the beans per bnb amount changes with the fluctuation of the tvl so of course the earlier the better, but they're trying to make this as sustainable as possible over the long term. The baked beans, the original version, did a very, very good job of this, but they have changed things for this particular version, and we're going to go through those in a second. Is this sustainable? Answered above in the external revenue question. If there is still BNB in the TVL, rewards will always be distributed. So important to note that BNB does get to zero, then you're not going to be able to withdraw your rewards, and you're not going to be able to earn any more uh, income from this protocol. What are the anti-oil mechanisms in place? Anti-oil me mechanics include max buy limit, cool down on rebaking, reduced referral rewards and inflationary mechanics. So the referral rewards here have been changed from the original version. In the original version, the referral rewards were added to your rewards that you could withdraw straight away. In the baked beans reloaded, it's added to your beans. So it's added to your stake. Referral percentage, 12.5% on buys and compounds from the original version and 10% on buys and 1% on compounds in the new version. Max buys, no max buy limit, no max wallet limit. Max buy 15% of TVL at the time and no max wallet limit. So some limits been set on the new version. Minimum buy 0.01 BNB on the original version and this one, the new version, no minimum buy. Compounding, minimum 0.1 BNB in rewards. So you have to have 0.1 BNB to compound in the original version. There's no minimum BNB to compound and there's a 60 minute cooldown timer on this new version. Dev fees, 3% on buys and sells. Now the dev fees on this new one, 8% on buys and sells, 1% on rebate. So those are the differences between the new and the old. Now, how do I know Baked Beans Reloaded is safe? The contract will be launched as an immutable contract, meaning that no changes can be made by the dev or team. An audit will be provided within the first week of launch. The team is available 24 seven and in most languages to answer any questions regarding more information if needed feel free to reach out any time. One of the most important things about this is the team can be trusted. The original team from the, from the original Baked Beans, they're not going to rug you, they're not gonna rug the project. They are one of the great teams uh, for the DeFi space. They did a great job in the original version. The only issue with this is if the contract runs out of funds, and of course you can see from the documentation that it is possible for that to, do, for that to happen, but they've put in as many mechanisms as possible to try and avoid the contract being drained. So that is very, very good. So we're gonna jump into Baked Beans. Very easy to do, just connect your wallet on the BNB chain and uh, it'll tell you here the contract is currently 1,766 BNB, so that is a huge amount of money. So that might be getting on close to 1 million in TVL right now. That's pretty impressive for just a few days being launched. Now I'm gonna put in 0.1 BNB, get myself 11 beans. Doesn't sound like much, but you never know. 0 0.103, 25% of my BNB in my wallet. Up to you what you want to put in if you do want to invest. No, not financial advice. Now, if you do want to get involved in Baked Beans Reloaded, I, I do have a referral link in the description below if you do wish to jump on board, but obviously not financial advice. Do your own research. Make sure you do understand how miners work. So we're going to bake those beans, 0 0.103 BNB. And there it is. I have 11 beans in my account. So once you finish your transaction, your beans will show up here at the top of the display and it shows you rebake your rewards, zero beans, zero BNB. So what happens after basically 24 hours, I'll come back in 24 hours, it'll show my, the amount of beans that I have, and the amount, which, is, which is the equivalent to BNB, and it'll say I want to eat beans or I want to restake them. Currently it's on a cooldown for 60 minutes, which is pretty good, so I cannot do anything in regards to that, but as the document says, do six days a week uh, rebaking your beans and do one day a week eating your beans and this could last quite a long time. Always focus on getting that ROI as soon as you possibly can if you can. Now again, the referral link for Baked Beans Reloaded is in the description of the video if you do wish to get on board. Of course, high risk, very degen play this Baked Beans 
as they always are, these miners. All right, DeFi crew, happy Friday, happy weekend. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye for now.